what's up everybody i want to just make this like a five minute video or less just uh show you like i just lowered i just uh decided to upgrade the front springs uh, a little bit softer i went from a 10k spring down to an 8k spring just to give it more uh, streetable and i noticed like it, it's a big difference just by changing the fronts so i'm just going to show you how to adjust the fronts to be a slightly little about higher just as a little bit higher than stock like compared to the rears i mean uh, or even out right now the rears have uh definitely has enough hand room i can stick through so i didn't do like a full adjustment of where i'm going to put the fronts are but you could see it's right there but i'm going to raise it up maybe like a hair I'll probably say like five millimeters. And if you really want to know what five millimeter is, it's about uh, 0.1966 uh, of an inch, basically. So if you want to get a more technical way for yourself to do adjustments for five millimeters, um, it's basically going to be right there at this small dash between the, the eighth and the fourth. That's going to be your marker to adjust for five millimeters. So let me show you how it's going to look. Uh, right now, it's basically I haven't hopped off the ground yet, so I'm going to get the wheels off the front, just one wheel off each side. Then I'll show you where the adjustment. All right, guys. All right, now I got the wheel off completely from the front driver's side, and just let you guys know if you ever decide to uh, uh, want to change your springs or you want to do some adjustments on the collars and stuff like that. Uh, best thing is to do before you really, if you're doing it like in a, a really harsh environment like the winter uh, with a lot of salt, water, and stuff like that, make sure you put some really good uh, anesthes on the threadings throughout the whole shaft just because it will lock up, especially this uh, bad boy right here. I had a hard time with this, especially with this collar. Um, if it gets seized up with corrosion, rust, and everything, you're going to take a, a lot of time just to break free loose. So I took a lot of uh, BB blast on it a little bit. You can see there's little heat differences on it because I put a torch to it just to expand the, the ring out a little bit so I can put some more penetration oil to uh, loosen up. And you, I did, I had to use like a little side chisel and the hammer just to break loose because it was tough. So, and especially like the upper uh, bearings on that too. There were C's up too, where they pivot back and forth, the suspension loading and all that stuff. I put, had to put some uh, fluid on there so it doesn't lock up anymore. Just make sure you do everything you can just to make this uh, suspension longevity as much as you can. So let me show you what I'm talking about by uh, adjusting the springs. Um, and you do not want to mess with this. These are, are like a preset setting for like five to 10 millimeters. I have about nine millimeters of uh, uh, clamp force on this. To the spring so it doesn't have any like floating springs so you can tell it's solid the only thing you really need to do is just this ring just this ring that like a hair out so it releases the shaft in here where it's where it's threaded so you need to do is to loosen this completely to hand uh unthread it and you can see there's i don't have like the silver type of this is like a nickel base um and it sees a uh, threat uh, uh, film um, liquid um, like a paste so it's just like regular uh, anesthes the silver stuff but it has like a darker tint to it so it kind of helps to blend it in so it doesn't stand out like you have like silver fingers everywhere like you're a silver surfer so yeah so I mean I need to break this loose and just show you what I'm talking about right now I already have this uh, pre loose right now with this collar from BC racing I know it's on my other coilover kit that does not have this one. Um, the only the only problem is it actually has two of the exact same ones for the rear uh, coilovers. They're a totally different type of a uh, coilover setup. So if you're missing this type of uh, one that has a nice curve, then a short curve. The short curve is for the rear, and this one does work for very well for the rear side of two. And also it can work on these though too if you need it to. But I do have other ones for this uh, gold plated, and those are for, are for these. So now I have this loosened completely because it has anesthes on it, so it helps uh, 
loosen up everything now i need to i don't want it to like loosen up completely so i know how much uh millimeters or two uh point uh, two uh zero zero um inches where i need to adjust it a little bit higher so when i when i need to adjust this i need to get this these uh things the, between the spacing right here a little bit higher by like five millimeters so I'm not going to really show because I only have two hands, so I'm just going to try to play it out. And after I'm yes, done, I can lie, but what I could do is you want to adjust with this top of ring. You don't want to really mess with the lower range because it can break loose. This one is basically fully locked because of this one, so you can adjust this one naturally. Look how easy that is just by one hand. So you're going to measure the gap between these two after you know how much uh, room and that's why I had the tape measure for. So I'm gonna keep on raising it a little bit, little by little. Maybe I'll just do like uh, uh, 2.5 millimeters instead of the five millimeters, just to give a clearance. But right now, I get my tape measure. All right, now I have, it, it's basically like at, at one eighth. So if I go one line more, that'd be exactly uh, five millimeters. So. I, I think I can just go do the five millimeters because it's just one hair a little bit more and that should be good for me. So just to give you an idea, you just need to loosen this up completely. If you if you think it's uh, seized up, get some penetration oil and maybe some heat. Just make sure you're away from any type of sensors or wires, like the brake lines. And if you need to cover some, do the best you can because this can lock up if you're in under weather conditions like snow, uh, a lot of uh, rain. Oh, anything has a high salt and um, concentrate with like um, ice melt or whatever, because everything will seize up after time. So loosen this up completely, and you should have only to adjust this ring only upward, going towards towards the uh, rear end of the car. All right, now I have everything preset and I'm basically right at the five millimeter marker right here between these two. Now I'm going to take this down, back down to uh, to the, the top, uh, top of the base to lock it in. And that's nice and snug. Now I need to take this wrench right here and tighten it down. If I can do it with one hand. If I can, I'm a genius, and if it, without busting my knuckles. Oh, there we go. It should be nice and tight, and I'll give a little, I'll give a little adjustment just in case I need to uh, use it with both hands. So that's basically how you're going to go with uh, the front and the front, the rear uh, for the two front sides. Just if you really want to like swap your springs out completely, or to uh, need to. Uh, do some like prepping for the salt issues or this corrosion buildup, get some anesthesia on these threads. It's a high recommended and especially lubricated the bearings uh, on the top because it will lock up and the bearings will be seized up and you have to replace the whole top um, pillow ball mounts. So it's not fun and expensive too, especially at your budget. And also if you ever have a question why uh, like, this uh, rings are just spinning itself uh, without spinning the threading shaft on here uh, the sleeve shaft is because these two lock nuts uh, are not tightened against each other so make sure you tight these these two against each other so this whole sh the whole sleeve shaft can go up and down with now I have the passenger side down and I'll show you what the, the tools you really need to get it done. These are basically the tools you're going to need. Uh, it varies on what type of vehicle you have for Hondas, or mostly for Civics, of course. They're always going to be like a 19 millimeter. If you're a Type R, it might be like a 21 millimeter. Uh, especially like I think Toyos, I think they're 19 and 22 millimeters, if I believe if I'm wrong. And you need these tools to get the, the proper settings for the for the suspension uh, uh, height changement and if you have wheels just yeah definitely need this uh, and especially a torque tool to get your torque wheels on to spec I got the um, Koenig uh, Ampliform wheels 
and definitely I recommend a, a, a roller that actually has all of these fraction agreement areas to know um, where the proper setting because you probably get lost sometimes if you don't know what you're doing so yeah these tools on that and the torque wrench and you're set and please subscribe